Okay? Don't you need protein? Oh, here comes the wonderful question I always get. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I think I already spoke about it this morning. One of our major problems in the so-called developed nations or in the rich industrialized nations is too much protein. The excess protein is causing most of our diseases. But your vegetarian if you're vegetarian, don't you need some proteins? What says when you're vegetarian you're not getting any? Let me ask you, what about a cow? Doesn't a cow need proteins? Where do the cow's proteins come from? Huh? From the grass, maybe? Grass. We don't eat grass, now what do we eat? All right, now let's go into that a little bit because it's very important. We get this question because people are so brainwashed and don't know what they're talking about. And the doctors and the nutritionists tell them, you need proteins, proteins pro to build tissue, right? So where am I getting my proteins? How come I can sit here for six hours and talk? Okay, first of all, <laughs> characters. Now let's look at this for a minute. What are the creatures that need the most proteins? Babies. Babies. Right? They've got to grow, right? They've got to grow fast. They're born seven, seven and a half pounds. In about three and a half months, they double their weight. By the end of the year, they weigh over 20. They've tripled their weight. Don't they need proteins? Where do they get it? Milk. Mother's milk. Mother's milk. How much protein does mother's milk have? Not quite. 1.8%. <laughs> How much protein does carrot juice have? 1.4%. How much protein does baked potato have? 1.8%. How much protein does oatmeal have? About the same. Okay. Now, we had a Japanese physician who very kindly one day wanted to know how come these patients were all doing so well. He was eating this therapy. How come for six months he was eating this vegetarian therapy without proteins? How come he was feeling good? He took himself a book which showed the content of foods, all foods. And he looked up just what our patients get. All the carrots and all the carrot juice all the vegetables and all the baked potato and oatmeal and all the other vegetables and fruit and everything all together. And with the 13 glasses of juice, he even brought it down to 18 pounds of food. We actually get more, about 20. He found that those patients get 40 grams of protein a day in carrot juice and other juice and vegetables and potatoes and so on. More than adequate and the kind of protein you can digest easily and assimilate. Not the kind that leaves a residue that feeds tumor tissue. 